What's up guys? In today's video, I'm taking the Nikon Z50 out with my newly purchased Tamron 10 to 24 millimeter. I'm looking to see how well it adapts and what I can come up with with a wide angle zoom lens. This is something I've never personally owned, so I'm really excited to see what I can do with it in a situation that I would normally be more comfortable with something like a 35 mil prime, a 50 prime, or even a 24 to 70 2.8. Let's grab the gear and head downtown. In the bag today, well, let me show you what I'm taking out with me. I have two camera bodies, one the Canon EOS M50 and the second the Nikon Z50. I also have the Tamron 10 to 24 millimeter lens with the FTZ adapter. For audio, I am taking my newly purchased Power D-Wise Lavalier microphone out. Um, also have a Rode Video Micro for some run and gun stuff. And I thought, why not? I'm throwing a 77 mil ND filter in as well. With me also the trusty Joby tripod. This one I believe is the 3K kit. A couple extra batteries in the bag and also my GoPro Hero 8 in case I want to do some kind of time lapse or B-roll or something like that. Um, I'll make sure and link all of this stuff in the description below. Okay, a few things before I head downtown. Number one, it's kind of a crappy day outside. It's wet, it's rainy, it's windy, but that's a great time to get out and shoot in my opinion. If you sit around the house and wait for perfect weather to go shoot, you're going to miss a completely different look for your portfolio. Uh, number two, since it is wet and rainy, I'm glad I'm bringing the Nikon Z50 with me because Nikon has fantastic weather sealing. Uh, my D750, I've been out and shot in like full-blown rain with that with the Tamron lens, which is what I'm testing today, and they were fine. Rain, sleet, snow, ice, like I have put that through a rigorous amount of crappy weather and all of my gear still works great. And finally, number three, it is good to get out of the house. I've been losing my mind, so uh, even though it sucks outside, it's cold, it's wet, it's rainy, I'm getting out and I'm gonna enjoy myself. Let's go downtown. All right, just got downtown and I'm walking around with this guy. This is the Nikon Z50 with the Tamron 10 to 24 millimeter lens and I'm getting some wide angle street photography shots. I'm really liking this combo so far though. I mean, it just, just kind of looks cool too. I mean, look at that. You see that and you think, wow, that guy must know what he's doing. He's badass. He's got a big camera, a big lens, when really it's, it's not, it just looks big. Let's go find some stuff to shoot. Uh, props to Columbia, Missouri. They decided to turn off parking meters. So I'm parking for free on a weekday. Let's go, baby. Okay, so what I'm liking about it so far is the versatility that you get. 10 is really, is really super wide. That is way wider than anything I ever shoot. Um, it is worth noting that the Z50 is a crop sensor camera. So the 10 millimeter lens is the equivalent to a 15 millimeter lens on a full frame. Uh, 15 to 30 being a pretty common zoom lens that you can find for those. What we got here in the world's sketchiest stairwell there's bird poop everywhere and birds flying around and one just hit the freaking window oh my gosh hey what are you doing <laughs> that scared me <laughs> oh another bird i'm gonna get attacked by birds okay I'm terrified i think i want to get some pizza i'm gonna shop local support local and get some pizza there's this little place called Pizza Tree and they're doing a uh, window service right now. So I think I'm gonna go grab some of that. This is actually the first time I've been downtown 
since the coronavirus restrictions were put in place. And nearly every business you walk by has some sort of closure sign. Kind of sad. You know, this town has a very vibrant downtown culture. Here we go. Another closure. And I really, I feel for these small business owners because that is just, uh, I mean, that's just unfortunate. You know, a lot of these people's lives depend on being able to do this sort of thing. You know, work day in, day out, get things done. So walking around, I found this wall here. And I really love the color. The lens I'm on right now filming with is actually just the Canon kit lens. It's a 15 to 45, which is roughly a 24 to 70 equivalent on a full frame camera. But as you can see, man, it is just really hard to get this whole shot. Um, what I'm gonna do is just throw the Tamron on its widest. And I'm gonna grab a picture of this. What's crazy is it easily fits this entire building in the shot, no problems. In fact, I've got a lot of room to crop. Cropping's fun. Cropping. I like cropping. Cropping is fun. Look at this action. Ho ho ho! Supporting local eating pizza. Now I just gotta find a place to sit down. <laughs> freezing out here so I get to support local <laughs> we just can't sit down anywhere to eat so I'm just uh, out here on the curb oh my gosh you guys look at this look at this thanks pizza tree it's really interesting being out and shooting right now one of the dynamics that I love about uh, street photography is the human element right so you're looking to create interesting compositions with with people in them right you always want a subject where right now there's not really any subjects oh my gosh that's good I think I saw a mailman a couple people in shops but practically everything is shut down can't go in anywhere I don't know it's it's weird it's bizarre I've liked using the wide angle lens though. So I've been trying to get a lot of photos of the storefronts that are closed with like the close signs to help document this and remember this in the future. It's just, it's weird. What do you think? Is it weird for you? Listen to the sound of that. That is coffee shop coffee being brewed. My favorite place in Columbia is actually open for business right now. I can't stay, but I did get, hold on, I'm leaving. Social distancing. Ah, there we go. I got a cup of coffee from Shortwave. Oh, mocha latte. Here we go. I'm so excited about this. I think, uh, I don't know, I don't really feel like wandering around downtown too much because there's not much going on. I think I'm gonna head to University of Missouri campus and wander around there, see if I can get some cool shots. It's very rare to see that place completely empty, which I imagine it is completely empty at the moment. Now leaving Alley A. This is such a cool place to get some photos. Got like artwork on the walls. After it rains, there's always this giant puddle right there, which makes for some cool reflection shots. Let's go to campus. That sounds cool. Okay, well, I said I was going to campus, but I had to stop and get a time lapse of the city because the clouds are looking really cool. I'll show you the time lapse um, in just a second. There are a bunch of birds next to my GoPro and we're six stories up in a parking garage. I hope they don't knock it off. <laughs> Goodbye birds. <laughs> Get away from my camera. I don't think so. Uh, what do you think? Okay, so I guess we can talk more about this guy. The Nikon Z50 with the Tamron 10 to 24 millimeter lens. And so far I'm really enjoying it. Like I was saying before, I don't really shoot wide. I really don't. I like to focus in on the details and tell the story piece by piece, where with a lens like this, you tell the whole story at one time. Like there, it's just, it's insane how much goes into the frame with this. And I have to learn, I have to learn to compose differently when I'm shooting super wide. 
As far as the lens itself, I mean, we can talk about that. So the build quality on the Tamrons is very good. I own a ton of Tamron glass and I'm never disappointed with the way they feel. It, it feels substantial. It feels like a professional lens, even though this was only, I, I think it was like 400 bucks. It feels like a high end piece of glass. Uh, the image quality so far seems really nice. It seems to have a nice rubber gasket on it, which leads me to believe that it's probably weather sealed. The focus accuracy is good. I've never really had a complaint about how the glass adapts with the FTZ adapter. It seems like it works just as well as if I was using um, this lens on like my D7100 or something like that. There's my GoPro. So what else is there to say? The build quality is great. The autofocus is good. The image quality is great. It's sharp. It feels substantial. It feels good in the hands. It looks cool. That's important to me. Maybe it's not important to you, but like I, I just feel like this setup turns heads. I don't know. That's cool. Spend a lot of money on stuff. You want it to look cool. Um, let's talk about things I don't like about it. And so far there's really... There's really only one thing I don't like about this. So this, I purchased this primarily to be a video lens and the video quality is good. The video focus is good. I'm still slightly irritated, agitated, whatever you want to call it at the focus noise for video though. It is kind of noisy when it focuses. You can hear this little clicky click, 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 clickerson, click, 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 tick, 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 tick. Almost forgot the GoPro. So I just got to the University of Missouri campus. We're gonna go walk around campus and see if I can't find some cool stuff to shoot super wide with this guy. All right, I think I found something I wanna take a photo of. Got this like entryway kind of thing going on. This is a good example of where the wide angle is gonna look great. Looks like we've got a graduating senior posing in front of the columns. I can't imagine graduating right now. It's supposed to be such a happy time in your life. Now it's just kind of weird. Back there, you have the uh, the columns in front of Jesse Hall. It's cool. We'll get closer here in a second. But I think that's a really good thing to show off how the wide angle lens is going to do. I like the framing quite like this. I'm at 24 mil on the lens. 